Now, speaking of gases, and air, of course, is a gas, I have in here another substance that, uh, in fact, will make a gas. Do you know what, what is in here? Actually, uh, there's a liquid in here. It's liquid carbon dioxide. Now, normally, carbon dioxide is a gas, right? When you're breathing air, you're breathing a tiny bit of carbon dioxide right now. And so there's carbon dioxide all around us, and it's normally a gas. But if you put carbon dioxide under enough pressure, it becomes a liquid. And that's what we've done here. So this has liquid carbon dioxide. But when I press on the nozzle here, uh, it releases the pressure, and some of the carbon dioxide liquid actually boils, and it comes out as a gas. And I want to show you that, but I want to do it from the top of a rotating platform. <laughs> And you notice it makes me go around. You also notice that once I start going around, it's hard to stop. How do I stop? The other way? Well, that's right. And of course, that's the principle of the rocket. And the rocket, of course, is very important because it's the way we uh, have to go from one place to another throughout the solar system. And I want to show you another example of a rocket here that you're all actually quite familiar with. Do any of you have something like this at home? That's right, it's a lawn sprinkler. And you know, if you connect it to the water and get out of the way, it spins around, right? But you don't see any water coming out, and that's because it's not connected to water right now, but it's connected to compressed air. And so indeed, something's coming out, but uh, it's only air, and so you don't see it. And indeed, a rocket will work. Uh, whether you shoot a liquid out the back um, or whether you shoot a, a gas out the back, as we did here and as we did over there. So um, rockets, uh, of course, can be made very large, and uh, I hope these demonstrate the basic principles on which the ro oh, rocket works. Sprott. That was so weak, so puny, such baby stuff. These good people didn't come here to see a lawn sprinkler. <laughs> they came here to see a rocket. And I suppose you have such a thing? I try not to let my mouth write checks that my brain can't cash. I always worry when Mr. Lovell gets that gleam in his eye. Well, this is no rocket. This looks like a tiny railroad track for a very small train. That's a jug of water. I know that. Empty, no less. Elementary, my dear Sprott. It's not empty, however. You know this? Oh, almost empty. It's just a little bit of alcohol. That can't do anything. We'll see. <laughs> I need your help. It's impossible to launch a rocket without a countdown. So let's start from five. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. We have liftoff.